Hey everyone, so we're going to be playing a Legacy League with the Epic Storm. Uh, so, uh, one of the changes that this deck list has made is there's no multiple copies of Empty the Warrens on the sideboard. Um, with the thought process behind this of Delver decks as being on kind of a decline right now, so we just kind of want to try out a fifth bounce spell today with uh, three Echo of Truth, two Chain of Vapor split. So, uh, it's just something to try out. Uh, the rest of the deck list is going to look very similar. We still have the two Badlands to support Pulverize. Uh, still have Cabal Ritual and the Flex Bot. Uh, so with that aside, let's get into the league. Alright. Won the die roll. Um. Jeez. Uh, I think we keep this, just because this hand kind of just jams. Um, the question... I'm not going to like just jam on turn one, though. Um, I'd rather... Because I don't think that's worth it for ten goblins. So I'm going to at least... I at least want to see what he's on first. Flooded Strand is interesting. I'm just going to play land and pass. That was not a good draw. He's most likely on Miracles or like a Show and Tell deck. Um, I would say... It is most likely Miracles. I don't know why that reset like that. Oh, well. For some reason, when starting this match, my uh, tech sidebar got bigger, got larger. I didn't notice it on the um, on OBS till now. Uh, we definitely wanted to keep Thoughtseize there. The only question is now is what do we do? I think I just fire off the discard spell here. It seems to me like he's definitely on Miracles. Yep. Alright. Maybe we waited too long to go off. to Just because at this point in the game, it just gets really hard to try to beat Miracles. He could just be going for, to play Jace right now. Okay. No? No Jace? Yes, Jace. Okay. Oh, so we kind of just have to hope he doesn't have Force. I think this is going to be like the best chance we have to try to go off. And our best draw would definitely be like another discard spell. The reason I didn't play this land first is because I want him to force the will the star control, which is exactly what he did. Oh my god. Two force wills. What an animal. 
And because uh, we're just stacked up on Chromoxes, it's not even like we can continue going off. That's insane. Okay. Um. Wow. All right. Um. Okay. Two force wills. That was kind of nuts. And counterbalance. Okay. Accumulated knowledge. So, oh my god, that is the worst. We are not getting good luck this match. I will tell you that. Double forcible, wow. Another two, man. Uh, he's just going to keep a two on his library for the rest of it. I think we're just a done deal. Good old counterbalance. All right, well, we're gonna just going to bring in three Hope of Gearpers, and I like to go fast in this matchup, so my cuts are going to be one Ponder, one Chromox, and one Cabal Ritual. Um, yeah, maybe I waited too long to go off that match, but I didn't just, I didn't think, like, I think jamming turn one ad nauseum's worth it, if you have it, like, game one in the opener, but not ten goblins. That's unfortunate, though. The, like, the one turn that we had a window to kill him, just <laughs> double forts all your dark rituals. Wow. He had a good hand. This is not a good hand. This is definitely a good hand. Uh, we don't need that extra land, so I'm, I'm fine just shipping it. wonder what he did with this ponder. He did not shuffle. That was not good. Um, we can make 10 goblins, or 8 goblins rather, but I don't think it's good. Drawing a land was kind of unfortunate, but I'm just going to attack, pass turn. He probably either kept 
a counterbalance of swords to plowshares if he didn't shuffle. Yeah, counterbalance. Okay. I'm just wondering what he left on if he spell snare. Okay. Honestly, it might be crazy, but I think we just jam ad nauseum. I mean, we could. I guess we could jam goblins too. Um. But like, we still have three petal, uh, two chromox, and uh, three lead in our deck. So, what am I doing? I did not sack yet. I just like, um, I like jamming Ad Nauseam here. Because, like, Miracles is a deck where, like, if we, we can always just, like, um, pass a turn if we don't have the kill. But, let's see. I just don't feel good with making eight goblins and, like, giving them three turns. Like, if this was turn one, I'd feel better about that. And it probably is also good that he doesn't have a white source currently. But, I don't know, I feel more comfortable doing the Ad Nauseam here, even if it's a bit of a gamble. Three Burning Wish in a row. Jesus. Alright, so we hit a Lotus Petal. Which means now we just need to hit one more Artifact. We still have two Lotus Petal, two Chromox, and one Empty. I'm going to hit. That got there. Awesome. Hope a Gearper is still a good card. Not quite as good as Xanted, but I don't like playing green. Awesome. Ooh, this hand is... I'm not sure I like this hand. He kept on 7. We don't, really don't have... Uh, this hand is really awkward. I'm going to shit this one back. This one is still kind of has the same issue, but I'm going to keep it. Um, just because I think it, having Brainstorm makes it better than going to 5. If, he, if our opponent kept that quickly, though, it makes me think he might just have Counterbalance. We want this Dark Ritual, but we really don't want it, these lands. I'm going to shuffle this.
And here comes counterbalance. Nope. Okay, good. That was pretty good. Yeah, this is likely going to get pyroblasted. Yep. That is fine. Yep, now here comes counterbalance. Okay, I guess not. All right. That was a very good draw. Unfortunately, though, I can't just bait Burning Wish into, like, a counterspell now because he likely can just snap Surgical it, and then my only win con is empty. He's likely going to cast Counterspell on this. Oh, just Force of Will. The good news is that we have five cards for our opponents, too. Alright, well now three, but... This is actually not that bad. I almost kind of want to just bait a counter... Like, bait a counterspell of Burning Wish anyways. Um, because, like... If he... If he does, like, counter it, and then he... Like, he uses, like, Snapcast or Surgical or whatever. Like, that's using all of his cards anyways. And then that puts us in a position where we can win with Empty. So I think I'm just going to do that. Yep. I don't think it's worth getting rid of a Dark Ritual for this. Hmm. Two cards, likely counter spells. Uh, well, we're just jamming this every time. The only thing like that really blows us out right now is like Vendillion Click. Yep, so we knew that was gonna happen. So realistically, like if we empty him, it'll put him on a one turn clock anyways. Like we can add nauseum and do an empty too. That way, like, we can make him discard what cards are in his hand. And then I'll leave him on, like, one top deck. And, like, we still have a land drop for turn, so I think going for the Ad Nauseum is actually just pretty safe. This has been pretty good so far. Well, there's the step one of what we need.
What was that? Another dress. That should be good. Just a fluster. Okay. Alright, so we need one turn where he doesn't top deck uh, Terminus or EE. Uh, we can save that for next turn. Alright, who would win? One board wipe or 40 goblin boys? Alright, we got there. Awesome. Uh, cool. Alright, and I uh, right, update this before I forget. That was pretty good. Like, that's one of the ways we really, like, win the Miracles matchup, is, like, when they just start aggressively using their counter spells and everything, like, they'll, they'll force a will, you know, like, I'll counter your Burning Wish, like, force a will this card, like, and then they just have no cards in hand and you kind of just win, the, win that way. We're pretty lucky, though, that he didn't have Counterbalance. Or, like, the problem with his hand that game is, like, he just didn't have a lot of cantrips. And, like, Miracles gets a lot better when they can just start gaining all that card advantage with, like, cards like, you know, Predict or uh, Accumulated Knowledge. Like, that's when they really just start to go into overdrive. But we got there. Alright, another die roll win. Um, yeah, we keep this. We have, we can just like play a brainstorm turn one, put back ad nauseum, and then just kind of go from there. Alright, so I'm just going to play Pluto Delta, pass turn. Rainforest, that's interesting. Underground Sea, Delver. Okay. Let's end a turn Brainstorm here. Yep, that's what I thought would happen. I actually just like playing like the dark rituals like I did there and then playing out these LEDs and then just casting ad nauseum because this way if he forcibles we still have tutor plus leads. Yep. One thing we really don't want to see is like a wasteland.
Brainstorm Stifle. Well, I think we know what we take. Because uh, if we go off at this point, like, I think we want to get to a point where we could just, um, where we could win with, like, uh, like, Passing Flames. And that, at that point, we can just win through Stifle. And, like, his hand just does nothing. I mean, like, he can bolt us and Stifle is still relevant, but... All these discard spells, I'd like more mana now at this point. Yep. That was a good draw. Another brainstorm, or another delver. I think I'm just going to pass the turn here instead of going off, uh, or instead of casting Thoughtseize, because uh, he's likely going to just reveal Stifle again. Oh, Ponder, okay. And, um, we want to just have enough mana to go off next turn, because NP the Warrens isn't going to do it at this point. That hurts. Now we, like, have to draw Dark Ritual. likely going to stifle this anyways. Nope. Well, so we have one line of play here, and that's cast Massacre. Um, the reason I'm casting Massacre instead of Grape Shot is because he has Stifle. This game is interesting. He's definitely still in a better position than we are, but at least we're getting to the point where we could just stabilize a little bit. But if he just has, like, if he just top decks a creature or bolt, then it's probably a done deal. So he got there. Um, for Delver decks, um, with the current configuration, uh, we just don't board. We just uh, we just run it back. Just because like there's nothing really that we want to board in if we don't have the multiple copies of Empty the Warrens. Um, so. And plus, like, our, our main 75 is pretty well equipped to fight Delver decks anyways.
opponent definitely has a sideboard for us. All right. Yes, I would like to be on the play. This hand's good. Um, yeah, I don't see a reason not to keep this. Uh, I mean, Chromox is kind of mad, but that's why we have these cantrips. I mean, Chromox can still actually be pretty good in this hand. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn one fetch uh, for an island and ponder. Uh, because we have two lands, we can just safely fetch for basics to play around Wasteland. As much as I want this copy of Empty the Warrens, having both drawing both these lands is bad, so I'm gonna shuffle. I think we like we just really want mana and discard spells right now. Just gonna fire off this brainstorm. And let's see. Ugh. Um I'm just gonna put back a tutor and a burning wish. And then next turn we'll fire off a discard spell. Cause we kinda just don't want to just run the discard spell into days. We wanna actually see what's in his hand. Alright, he just Rip the spell pierce. We know he's playing stifle too, so maybe it was actually correct to fetch in my turn. I definitely should, yeah, I definitely should have fetched in my turn. That was a misplay. But he doesn't have stifle anyways. Alright, so we're gonna fire off this discard spell here. Oh geez. Spell snare is just gonna counter anything anyways. And yeah, so we definitely I definitely like just have to take spell snare here. What I'm gonna actually do is I'm gonna this is gonna open him up to wasteland, but I actually I'm gonna run a burning wish into him. Um, that way uh, he can we can get the spell pierce out of his hand, so he's just forceable. So he has to top deck a blue card to be able to counter a spell. Um, yeah, so he's just gonna spell pierce this. And then he's going to Wasteland us next turn, and hopefully he didn't draw a blue card. Or he hopefully he doesn't draw a blue card, rather. He, he did not play a cantrip this game, so... Yep. Wow, we've been drawing a lot of land. So...
I think like we just have to go for it now and concede to a blue card because like we can make eight we can make eight goblins which puts him on a three turn clock so like we'll make eight goblins he attacks us for three down to eight we attack him down to 12 he attacks us to five we attack him to four he attacks us to two and then we attack him for lethal but like this isn't really getting much better for us so i think we have to do something So, we just have to hope he doesn't draw, like, creatures or bolt. Really. That's, like, the one thing we don't want to see. So, we know he, that he drew a Misty probably last turn. Yep, so he's going to attack us. Alright, so now it's just a good old race. Hopefully he does not have Lightning Bolt. Oh, well, we got there. Oof, that was that was definitely a sweat. I gotta say. Yeah, we keep this. Sands is fine. It's a little iffy to wasteland, but... Yeah. These are definitely all cards we want. Um, I'm actually going to put what are Lotus Petal, Tutor, and then we'll draw a Ponder. Yep, so he's just going to burn his Brainstorm. Pretty sure he's had turn one Delver all three games. Yeah. All right. Well, he's definitely representing some sort of counter spell. Like he's either representing spell pierce, fluster, spell snare, or red blast. That's a good one. Um. Let's do Burning Wish on the bottom, Lotus Petal, and then we can draw the Duress. And to play around Days, I'm not, I'm not going to Duress him this turn, I'd rather Duress him next turn.
So he shuffles his library, draws Wasteland, hits Volk, that's the one I'd rather him hit right now. I'm pretty sure anyways. Okay. Well, this brainstorm's not getting going to get any better, so I'm actually just going to put it under Chrome Mox right now. And then let's dress him. This way we can play around like Spell Pierce slash Daze more efficiently. So like if he if we respond with Dark Ritual, like let's say he Spell Pierces our Dress and we um, respond with Dark Ritual and then he Dazes, we can still pay for it. Alright, so we're just going to pay with uh, Chrome Ox Mana. Alright, now we're going to Dark Ritual in response. Alright, so, wow. I'm gonna, we haven't played a land this turn, I'm gonna take his Brainstorm, and we're gonna, we're, so we're gonna, okay, here's what we're gonna do, we're gonna, this is a very interesting line, but we're gonna Ad Nauseam now, and once we Ad Nauseam, we're gonna pass to our second main phase to make him not have the mana for Stifle. This needs to get a little better though. Jeez. So he's at 19. I think we have to hit. Alright, now we have to stop. Uh, we will not repeat. Let's go to second main. The question is now is, what do we... How can we continue winning? Can we almost just grape shot him at this point? So we definitely have to play Badlands. So if we like Chromox, imprint of Thoughtseize, Rite of Flame, and then Tutor for Rite of Flame. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, what am I thinking? We can just write a flame, write a flame, and print two black cards in Chrome. I'm overthinking this. Oh, my God. Well, we got there. What a sweater. Jesus, this was a really good round.
All right, <laughs> we're two and zero. Oh. Somehow. All right, let's go into the next round. All right, round three. I've played this guy before, but I forget what he plays. Either way, we can't keep this. Sounds pretty ugly. I'm gonna mulligan again. We have to keep this though. Oh, and I accidentally molded it anyways. That wasn't good. Alright, well, that puts us in a pickle. I just, I'm, honestly, I'm gonna, I'm gonna concede as soon as I know what he's on. Because there's no way that we're winning this game one. Okay, yeah, last, so I'm checking on my spreadsheet. The last time I played him, he was on Blue Red Delver. Um, Alright. The good news is his hand, he's kind of not doing anything. So, we can maybe draw our, ways, our way out of this. Still no threat on his end. He must have like a handful of counter spells.
All right, he finally has a threat. <laughs> We're still not doing anything. Good news is we have time. That's the important part. I mean, we're still, like, very low percentage to win this game, so... If we draw our land, though, I'm gonna play it and then, like, into a discard spell. He's cast all four of his ponders. So he shuffled land? Not a land, okay. Um, well, at this point, I think I'm just going to try attempt to play a discard spell. Which, I mean, it does give up information that we're on Storm for, like, game two purposes or whatever, but I'd rather just play the actual round for the sake of the video. God, he's cast six cantrips now. <laughs> That's actually really funny. Like I said, we're most likely uh we're most likely gonna be going to game two here. Our hand on five wasn't even that bad, but we couldn't even keep our hand on four, so Thought sees you. Yep. Three, four, five. Uh oh. Two turn clock now. He's just going to fork bolt us. Does he have another fork bolt? No. Okay. Oh, baby. Okay. Well. <laughs> um, four, five, six. I don't think we can win no matter what we do. Four, five, four. Yeah, we're just dead. Let's go to game two. Blue, red, Delver, though. Uh, that's a matchup that we, like, have to win game one of, too, because they have, like, their main deck just has so much burn and stuff, but if he's playing, like, Idol on the Great Rebel, we could, like, board in 
a couple bounce spells, but I don't, I'm not sure that, I'd rather just run back the same 75. Worth noting that we have lost all three of our game ones so far. Okay. Uh, keep. Yeah, we keep this. I'm just gonna fetch for Badlands, duress him. We'd rather cast our duress first over Thoughtseize because, uh, you know, it saves us. It does save us life, which could be relevant. Um, the reason I'm keeping this hand is because we, we more than likely just have like an empty the Warren's hand. Alright, so he multi five, so this this has just been a mulligan fest so far. I'm pretty sure like blue red delver is like a little lighter on bad on wastelands, hopefully, so hopefully I'm not a dummy for fetching for badlands or greedy. Okay. Cool. We are in good shape. <laughs> Alright, now we can just kind of get rid of his other Force of Will. What is with all these decks and playing Spell Snare? The good thing, though, is that I don't think Spell Snare does anything versus us right now, so we're just going to take the other Force of Will. Worst case scenario, we have a third Thoughtseize anyways, so... Grim Lava Mancer, okay. Uh, Lotus Petal or something would be really good. That was okay. Let's just make six goblins. Is that even good enough? Probably not. But we do... We Oh wait, we could just... What am I thinking? We could just... We could just add Nas next turn. from a virtual 15, but like... Ugh, I don't know actually. Cause like... Is this any target? Yeah. I'm gonna shuffle actually. And we got a Burning Wish anyways. So that's cool. Um, at this point, I'll just thought seize the spell snare out of his hand. I'm probably playing this really bad.
Yeah, let's just add Nas. We the only four is out of our deck, so. And he top deck fluster. Okay. That's not good. I'm getting wrecked by this five card hand right now. was a horrible top deck. We could either like grab Grape Shot or Pass and Flames here. I'm just gonna grab Pass and Flames. I'm starting to think, like, maybe I should have mold this hand. He's also, like, giving a tell that he has a Snapcaster Mage. Oh, well, guess not. Oh my god. Our top decks are the not good. That was actually pretty decent. So he's going to Grim Lava Mance us down to 7, then 5, then put us down to 2 off his attack. If he has a bolt... Yeah, I think we kind of just have to hope to... Oh, this is so bad. Put us down to seven. Okay, that's just telling me that he has bolt. Or not, okay. Interesting. Oh boy. I think instead of playing the fetch, we have to just thought seize him.
third force of will pitch days. Well, our one out is to flashback ad nauseum and flip a bunch of zeros. Like, yeah, we have to. That's actually our only out. We have to cast ad nauseum and then, like, flip, like, lead lead. Here goes nothing. That's not the way to do it. That. Oh. Because, like, the thing is now is we can lead into ponder. But, like, if we do that, what are we looking for? Do we just have to hit another zero? We still have a bunch in our deck, so... Because even if we, like, if we lead and then ponder... Yeah, we have to hit, I, I think. Yep. Yep. Oh, well. Yeah, there, right there. Oh, uh, man. Unfortunate. That's going to be a loss. So, like, if we just chose to lead ponder there, we, we would have had to... Um, there's actually just nothing we got to hit to win at that point. If we hit another lead, it was definitely GG. Like, that we would have been going to game three. But if we hit pedal, we could grape shot him. I wonder if I should have grabbed um, Grape Shot earlier with that Burning Wish. Because it, it definitely would have saved us a lot of life. Oh man, what is with all these no landers today? At the mulligan again. I think we yeah, we have to keep this. Bottom that we don't want redundant copies of Burning Wish. Okay, so he's just on dredge. This is not a good dredge hand. 
This deck is really popular right now because it's really good. Okay. He's going to be dredging anyway, so I don't think it's worth it to play just our Thoughtseize. Um, I'm going to main phase our Brainstorm. Just so, like, if we find copies of lead, we can just lay them out. Exactly like that. Um, okay. This actually, I'm pretty sure this guarantees us a next turn ad nauseum. So we're going to put Thoughtsies on the bottom, and then Burning Wish on top. So this way, like, even if he makes us discard this Dark Control, we can still make 7 mana post um, Burning Wish for Dark Petition for Ad Nauseum. So he just has to kill us this turn. Which I'm not sure if um, I'm not sure if Dredge is still playing that like flame kin that flame Kinzelic card, the one that gives all your dudes plus one plus one. He's gonna be dredging. There's the therapy. First bridge. I actually think Dredge is a favorite matchup for uh, for the Epic Storm. I like. I don't know. I usually just like lay out my artifacts, and then they kind of just. They do their thing and they make us discard cards when I just float a tutor on top of the deck. That's how like most of my match show. That's like how most of my matches with this deck like turn out. Alright, so he's just gonna make us discard the dark ritual now. And he's going to make us this card empty? Sure. Feed him at Spellmaster. And this is a good example of why Lion's Eye Diamond is a really messed up magic card. Yep, this is uh, pretty solidly just a win. Oh, I guess we can actually Grape Shot him, so that's cool. He's just going to concede anyways. Um, for this sideboarding, I usually just take out Empty, and I bring in an Echoing Truth, just in case they have something like Iona. Like, a lot of lists don't, but sometimes they'll play, like, Iona in this in the uh, sideboard. Um, they don't really play Surgical or anything like that, so we don't really want to bring in Tendrils or anything like that, but we don't want Empty in our main deck either.
This hand's really slow. I, th I think we keep it, though. Uh, only because, like, we can just imprint Echoing Truth on Brainstorm turn 1, cast Brainstorm, and then hopefully we just go into a bunch of spells and make us win. I like that better than Mulliganing. Uh, just because discard spells aren't good in this matchup, but... Okay, so he boarded in Ley Lines. His Dredge wasn't that good, but he does have a Lion's Eye Diamond. Wear Tear, okay. Okay, so I hit Narc Amoeba, but no... Okay, no Cabal Therapy, so that's good. That was a good draw. Alright, let's see what this Brainstorm gets us. Not much. See, so he has Icarid. Yeah. Um, I kind of just want to hold on to both of our cantrips, but if I guess we just um, I guess we just brainstorm again here. This is interesting, like, what we want to put back. I think I'm just going to put back Ad Nauseum on the bottom and then Infernal Tutor on top. Uh, the reason being for this is because we do have the third land, so we can cast Rite of Flame and Dark Ritual. But we can, if, we, if he, like, makes us discard our rituals, we can also ponder, hold priority. Um, we can, like, play land, ponder, hold priority, crack for three black, and then draw Ad Nauseum. So I actually like this. We just have to not die this turn. This is why, like, it's better to cast uh, Brainstorm in the main phase in this matchup. And he has one therapy, so... That was a pretty good name. Um... So we can either do the tutor or do the ponder line. I like doing the ponder line because it's sweeter. They both have the same exact result, so. I wish we didn't have to shuffle this now because that was pretty good. Add Nas from 14, no 4s in our deck. That's a good start. Oh, well, this is pretty abysmal. Maybe it's not. Let's see, because... One Rite of Flame is going to make three. Second Rite of Flame put us up to six. Um, I wonder if we have enough to Grape Shot here. I, I definitely think we have to stop. I think, anyways. Or do we have to stop? We played a land for turn. How many twos are out of our deck? Echo and Truth is out. Tutor's out. Two Witches are out. So we still have five twos. 
Oh, we have Cabal Ritual as well. I think we have to stop. Six, five. I'm I'm gonna cantrip here. I think. So if we tutor for a fourth right of flame. I almost wonder if like it's right to empty. How many bridges he oh he has three bridges, not right. Oh, never mind, never mind. False alarm. So if we decide we want to tutor for a fourth right of flame, uh the storm count four, storm count five, tutor would be storm count six, seven, eight, nine, pass in flames ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Burning Wish would be 15. That would put us one off, I believe. And Storm Count for, him, for Grape Shotting him. Let me recount that. Chromox is Storm Count 3. Lotus Petal would be Storm Count 4. Rite of Flame, Storm Count 5. Tutor for Rite of Flame would be 6. Rite of Flame, Rite of Flame, 7, 8. Burning Wish, 9. Um... Pass in Flames 10, Rite of Flames all f would be put back up to 14, Burning Wish would be Storm Count 15, Grape Shot would hit him for 16. So now we have to play the game of, okay, we have to play the game of do we have enough mana to flash back Pass in Flames and then cast Burning Wish? So, with this tutor line, first right of flame would make three, tutor would make us go down to two, third right of flame would make us go um, up to six red, and then the fourth right of flame would put us down to five, add, add five, so eleven, burning wish nine, pass in flames five, and then I think... I think we're gonna do that, and if not, we'll empty. So we might. I think we can grape shot him. Maybe I did my math wrong. Hopefully not. No, we should actually have enough to grape shot him. This is why grape shot in the board is so good. Awesome. Okay. Three one going to the last round. Yeah, like I said, I think Dredge is actually a good a good matchup for the Epic Storm.
All right. Um, I think I just have to mull this. Do I? It's actually like, so if we like top deck a ritual, we can make a fair amount of mana, but I don't know. We can make, we, we would need a plus two, so I'm actually going to mulligan this. This hand is okay. Uh, do we want this? I'm gonna keep leave it on top and we can always shuffle it away if we if we know like he's not on blue. Okay. Interesting. Uh yeah, I'm gonna thought seize him only because I don't want to get hemmed. Let's see what he has. Okay, what? Mental note. Fatal push, force of will. Yeah, him to Torak. So I guess we just take him. This is interesting. Is he on Death Shadow? Like, what is he on? Alright, so we know that he drew Wasteland for turn. And uh, we're fine to just keep passing the turn. No reason not to. We know he has Force plus, boot, plus Blue card, so... That was a pretty good mill for him. Alright, we know he drew Polluted Delta now. He probably drew another him. Nope. Okay. I wonder if we just... He has one mystery card, so if he forces our Burning Wish, he's left with one card in hand. So... Yeah... Alright, Dark Ritual, hope you force this. No? Okay. Yay. Awesome. What's good there is like even if he like to, even if he opted to Force of Will or Dark Ritual there, we just like use our Belotus Petal to play Rider of Flame, Rider of Flame empty. So I'm just wondering what he's not psychic to what is Okay, I am thoroughly interested. I'm going to treat it like a Delver deck and keep the 75 the same, but I am interested. Some sort of Psychotog deck.
Uh, we... The mulligans. I think we still mull this. We don't do anything. This hand is way better. Lots of mulliganing tonight. That is really good. We just have to hope he doesn't just thought sees us. He has he has the thought sees. Okay, that's fine. Okay, he's gonna take the duress, which tells me he has either counter spells or him. So. I'm not even going to lay our artifacts out because we still have like other cards in that we want in our hand, like Tutor. So if he has him, I think we just have to accept it. Okay, so he's just on a weird Death Shadow deck. I mean, if he, if he had him, he would have just cast it, so... I'm going to ship this. He could have also taken our dress if he just had no other interaction. But I don't really believe that. I'm so confused on what's going on here, but... Okay, well, we're going to play out Lotus Petal. And then Thought sees you. That's interesting. Alright, I think we go for it. The only thing we lose to here is Force plus Blue card now. I guess we lose to Days if we go for Adnaz, so. I'm just gonna empty if we can, because it plays around Days. I mean, he actually, if he. If he had the days, he would have cast it anyways on our Dark Ritual. So I'm just going to add Nas instead of like playing into a potential sweeper. Pretty good. One more artifact will make me happy. That makes me happy. What is going on in your hand? Yep, so we are right not to empty. Ratchet Bomb. Okay. Interesting deck on our opponent's part. Some sort of like Psychotog Death Shadow deck. Alright, we got there. 4-1. Um, yeah, I really like this deck list. Um, we did pretty good versus the Delver deck, despite only having the one empty main, one empty side, um, which was nice. So, um, on that, like, Hope of Gear is still really good versus Miracles, as was also shown. Um, it's unfortunate that round three we kind of, eh, we kind of crapped out, but it happens. Um, yeah, I, we're all five. Yeah, so we've played against four blue decks and Dredge, which. Like I said, I think Dredge is a good matchup. Other people don't. I think it is. Um, other than that, yeah. So that's uh, that's going to be it for me. Um, thanks a lot for watching. Feel free to leave any feedback on how I can work on the videos in the comments. Um, other than that, yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.